If you haven't heard already, Carter Gote is officially an Anaheim Duck as of two days ago, and he just had his first practice as a duck today. So I'm going to give my overall impressions of seeing him in person for the first time in this video and some other things I noticed from Duck's practice. For starters, Cutter got in around 10 o'clock last night, and surprisingly, the person who picked him up was Kevin Biesca. I was greeted by uh, Kevin Biesca, so it was nice to <laughs> be picked up by him, and he drove me from LAX down to the hotel I'm staying at. No offense to Juice, but you'd think we could do a little better there. Guess we didn't want to scare him away by sending Zegris with his driving. I will say Biesca has been at more games recently, so maybe he got a job in development like Getsy. But back to Cutter. The first thing you notice is Cutter looks taller than expected. He was standing next to Leo, and from a distance, it was hard to tell them apart, other than Leo being a little thicker due to the Leo plan he has been on this year. Also, similar to Leo skating, Cutter looks slow, but gets going in a hurry. Very powerful strides. You could tell Cutter wasn't 100% with the travel from Minnesota to Boston to LAX, then the drive to Anaheim, probably a little bit of jet lag. He missed the net a lot, but you can see how good his release is. He worked on his slapper after practice, and even impressed Leo. Oh my goodness. Leo liked that. He woo-hooed that one. Maybe that will be his role on the power play, especially since McTavish is out. The Ducks didn't work on the power play at practice, but I would assume he will be on it in Vegas. Cutter also shut off some saucy passes that has become a big part of his game at both World Juniors and BC this year. There really wasn't much of a chance for Cutter to show off his defensive game, but that has been a focus for him this year. He played on the penalty kill at BC, and in limited chances to show off his defensive game, he looked pretty good. He did get beat badly by Calandrill once, though. Overall, Cutter didn't look out of place. The Ducks are throwing him into the lion's den, so to speak, as he will immediately be on the top line with Leo and Killer, meaning Terry was bumped to the third line with Lundy and Calangelo. Terry and Cutter are probably off to a rocky start relationship-wise. Timmy being bumped down because of him, and then Terry's all mater beating Cutter in the championship. Um, I hope Troy didn't say too much about his his Denver team to you. <laughs> no, he, he mentioned it a couple times, so... <laughs> And Terry having his number. Troy has my number, 19, <laughs> but I flipped it upside down and made it 61. So, um, yeah, it's a number I'll rock with. And, you know, if Troy ever wants to give up his number, I might <laughs> might switch with him. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. Oh, boy. I'm obviously joking. They were talking it up at practice. I will say Cutter is going to give Timmy a run for his money with his you knows. You know, felt very welcoming and, you know, you know, I feel it's good for a young kid coming in and, you know, not really knowing too much about the, about the place. Some other lineup notes. Zegers' line stays the same with Strom and Frankie. The fourth line remains to be seen. I would imagine Sylph gets in, but it could be Leeson, Johnston, Gru, or Myers in the mix for the last game. We also got a Jones and McTavish sighting during practice. Jones was stretching and watching practice for quite a while. No minty freshness in the air, though. Like I said earlier, Cutter didn't look out of place. He got the number he wanted, besides 19 and number 61, and is being given top-line minutes. The Ducks are showing full faith in him already. He feels welcomed, especially after the standing ovation, or really just the clapping he got after practice. Started by my mom. Welcome, Cutter. A lot of fans came. You even got a standing ovation. Yeah. What was that like to see? That was super special. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, after a practice, you know, you just work hard and get off the ice. Not, not much to it, but I heard a couple people clap it, and you know, everyone was you know saying my name. So that was that was really special um, to see that you know the fans like me since day one. So um, that was that was a really special feeling. Leo was showing him the ropes most of practice. They tried out each other's stick and practiced faceoffs together. Z was also very talkative with Cutter, and they tried out each other's sticks too. So needless to say, the boys seem to be very excited about Cutter joining the team. We need a goal scorer, and Cutter has all the tools to be that goal scorer. Looking forward to his first game versus Vegas in Vegas. Cutter said his family will be there, so it will be a special moment for him. I'll be there too, and shout out Smelly from Discord for traveling with me. Sounds like lots of fans are going to be there. It might be more crowded than Ponda Center warm-ups. If service is good, I might try to go live for warmies. I can't imagine service being worse than Ponda, so we'll see. Either way, I will be recapping the game like usual, just might be a little later with the traveling. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and go Ducks! Welcome to Anaheim.